Hi everyone, my name's Frank, and welcome to a Movie A Day Challenge. Today is day number 87, and it's March 28, 2018. Today I'll be watching the 2008 documentary, Not Quite Hollywood, The Wild and Untold Story of Ozploitation. Now, in each episode of a Movie A Day Challenge, I pick one movie that I've never seen before. And then I take that movie's movie poster, and I place it to the side of me. I do this because I don't know anything about the film that I'm about to watch. And being that I have no idea of what the film that I'm about to watch is about, I feel like I need to draw some type of conclusion of what I think the film may be about, based solely on the movie poster itself. In saying that, Let's go ahead and take a look at the 2008 documentary movie poster to Not Quite Hollywood, The Wild and Untold Story of Ozploitation. Here we basically can see caricatures, I take it, or little pieces of scenes, I want to say, from, I guess, the movies within this film. Now, Not Quite Hollywood, basically I'm taking it that it's either major budget films or really good B-movie films that's not in the genre of what us Americans would take as Hollywood movies. So not quite Hollywood. Now The Wild means it could be crazy movies, could be whatever, like action-packed, maybe it's just crazy dramatic films. And Untold, so this is a story that no one knows about. Or what people do know about, but only a certain few. So they have to tell it to us, the people who have no idea. Of Ozploitation. Now, there's plenty of films out there that has exploitation at the end of it. Like black exploitation films. Uh, there's female exploitation films. There's, people, there's prison exploitation films. So Ozploitation. Now, Oz, I know is not in deal with The Wizard of Oz or Ozzy Osbourne. So Oz has to take part, I take with Australia in some way, shape, or form, because they do know, come, like, are somewhat coming from the land of Oz, or they have a familiarity with the word Oz in general. But Oz is, seems to be always associated with Australia. So, I'm taking it that this has to do with filmmaking in Australia. Which seems really cool. I really like the, like the art on this, and that guy sort of looks like Mel Gibson right there. So I'm taking it that being Mel Gibson, Australia, has to do with Australian filmmaking. Mad Max, so on and so forth. So I really can't wait to sit down and watch the wild and untold story of Ozploitation. A.K.A. Not Quite Hollywood. They should have just left it with the subtext. Not Quite Hollywood seems to... Now seem a little odd. Should just have been one, the wild and untold story. But, uh... Yeah, I can't wait to sit down and watch Not Quite Hollywood. Now, after I finish analyzing the movie poster itself, I then let you, the viewer, know that I'm going to go ahead and watch the 2008 documentary Not Quite Hollywood, The Wild and Untold Story of Ozploitation. But before I go and do that, I want to let you, the viewer, know that after I finish watching the film, I then come back and tell you a little bit about the movie. But I don't go in great detail about the film. I don't want to go in depth to tell you any major spoilers about the movie, nor do I want to ruin the plot of the film for your viewing. You see, I don't want to do either of the two because that will ruin your chance of sitting down and watching a really good film. And I don't want to do that. It also messes up your chance of partaking into a movie a day challenge and watching each film with me as I go along. So, in saying this, I'm going to go ahead and watch the 2008 documentary not Quite Hollywood, The Wild and Untold Story of Ozploitation. And then I'm going to come back and tell you a little bit about the film. I'll be right back. I just finished the 2008 documentary, Not Quite Hollywood, The Wild and Untold Story of Ozploitation. And I want to let you, the viewer, know that this is a really great documentary. I really enjoyed it. I watched the film throughout and... Never at once did I say, this is a bad documentary. This is actually a really great documentary. It's very informative. It gets straight to the point. And to be quite honest, and to make this review very short and to the point, it's about films and Australia. I'm not going to spoil the plot for you, because there's a lot of info in this movie. And there's a lot of nudity as well. If you're not in 
t- and like caring of nudity and nudity on film, then yeah, go ahead and watch this film. But just pointing out for those younger people of our audience, nudity does happen a lot, a lot in this film. And I just want to let you know this way you don't just go, hey, I checked this film out and I didn't expect what to see before my eyes. Well, expect to see it. Now, this film in itself, great with information, really uh, supportive towards telling you straight to the point of how stuff began, how hard it was to do things, and how they had to go out to America to try to grab their own audience. Now, I'm not going to go in debt like I said about this film. All I would say is, yes, I highly do recommend you watch Not Quite Hollywood, The Wild Untold Story of Ozploitation. But I also say if I had to go and watch it again, it would probably be on a night that I just had nothing else to do. I would watch it again, but it would have to be at a point where there's nothing to do, and probably years down the line I would watch it again. But I would just like to point out, it's a good movie. Really, sit back and enjoy this film. If you're not into nudity, though, don't watch it. Now... If you'd like today's episode, why don't you click that thumbs up button right there. And while you're doing that, why don't you also comment in the box below. That thumbs up gives us a like. That comment that you put down below tells me that you're really interested in talking about Not Quite Hollywood, the wild untold story of Ozploitation. Do either of the two. And while you're doing that, why don't you also click that subscribe button and subscribe to a movie a day challenge. Now, tomorrow is day number 88, and I'll be watching the 2016 documentary, Nuts. My name is Frankie. I will be here tomorrow for day number 88 and the 2016 documentary, Nuts. I will see you tomorrow.